Today I'm going to show you how I make battery cables for my truck. These are some of the stuff you're going to need. Big pair of wire cutters, some dikes, solder, flux, heat shrink tube, it's adhesive lined, lug itself, wire, these are hydraulic crimpers, a torch, and that's extra die sets. So first you can take and strip back the wire. I just take these cutters and strip off the insulation. Like that. The size of this is two odd. It's actually welding cable, welding leads, but works very well for battery cables. The next thing I do, which I've already done, is cut a bunch of solder into little pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to both solder and crimp these connectors. But first, I put the solder inside. I'm not sure you can see that, but just little tiny pieces inside that. Lay that down. And that's where these dikes came in to cut the solder off. So, I put a little flux on the wire itself. Like that. Then, insert the wire into the fitting. You want to get all your strands in there. Which sometimes, with this fine strand, it's a little hard. But, like that, a little time, you can't get it in there. Next, take a set of hydraulic crimpers with the correct size die. Open them up. Tighten down. And start crimping. I like to push the wire, push it all together at the same time. Once the crimp starts, just push wire in there and keep crimping. Okay. Once the dies have seated, just un turn it off, off position. That will about to release. And now that it's crimped. And most people you could just use as is. It's not, it's tight. It's not going anywhere. But since I put the solder on the inside, I like to go ahead and heat it up so that the solder will melt onto, on the wires in the inside. Do that, I just use a torch. Start heating. Now, you don't want to overheat it because you will start to melt the insulation on your wire. Of course, if you don't heat it quite enough, you're not going to melt the solder on the inside. I have done a test without crimping to see if the solder actually melted. And if you do it without crimping, it does still hold the connector. Next, I will take... Looks like I got one strand out. Cut off. The heat shrink tube. Like I said, this is adhesive lined. Slide right over the top of my connector. Just like that. I use a torch, you could use a heat gun. Heat 
heat it until you see the glue start to come out of the heat shrink tube. And now that it's finished, let it cool. And as you can see, it has a nice finish. Again, some would argue crimping better, some will argue solder is better. This is a combination of both. This here is the other one that I've done previously. And that's how I make my battery cables.